All right, guys, we'll let a few people get in here. I'm going to give you all an update on uh, events for the day. <clears throat> We've been watching the Reed trial from the Douglas County Judicial Center, and uh, the verdict came in today. And uh, I wasn't in the room, but it's obvious from the people that came out and everything that happened since that uh, Derek was acquitted of the murder of Kamar J. Shaw. Uh, there's been a lot of activity outside the courthouse. You can see all the deputies. Uh, there's a medical issue over here behind us. Uh, there was quite a bit that happened uh, just as it ended. And uh, we have most of the Douglas County Sheriff's Department out here. I do. Kind of monitoring things. You know, I don't have a lot of details for you because the, the case itself was argued in court. I wasn't there for most of it. Uh, paid attention to a few of the things I heard, but definitely down here today to see the culmination of it. And, you know, there's a, there's a couple different factors that come in to the impression behind this. You know, how, how when you seat a jury for a case like this that involves racial implications, why is the jury all white? That's a big question that happened. Sorry, I'm not trying to get you in there. I'm just doing a small news report. Uh, that's one of the questions that, that the objectors of the verdict have. Um, now, Douglas County is what, what I heard was percentage 4% black, and they have that much in the jury pool. But it's the optics of it that people are questioning, and, and that's, that's a tough argument to have. There's a lot of hurt feelings on both sides, but in any case, the Reed verdict is out today. He was found innocent. Um, Everybody keeps their calm. There's a lot of talk happening right now, and I hope it's just talk because uh, there's no need for people to go off doing, doing stupid and just getting arrested. You can see all these police officers out here behind me. They're out here because they're worried that something's going to happen. And uh, the good thing is, is most of this is the Douglas County Sheriff's Department. They're a lot less reactive um, than LPD is. And so I'm glad to see that the sheriff's taking the lead on this, which is their courthouse, and they should. Uh, but as far as the way it's handled, most of the officers have been pretty reasonable with them. There's one that I kind of question why he was talking back. It's not going to gain you anything. Just just let it go, man. It's People are upset right now. Um, while I got everybody in here, I'll just go ahead and tell you all this as well. While I was in here earlier waiting for uh, <laughs> waiting for this verdict, the sheriff come walking in through the doors <coughs> into the judicial center. And when he walks in, his dog's running there with him off a leash. Now, walking into this courthouse right here. And when he walks in, his dog's just off a leash running through security. And it's, you know, what we've heard recently is that the sheriff somehow believes that he's not susceptible to a complaint because the only way to hold him accountable is at the ballot box. So there's no point in filing a complaint on him. Is that accurate? But uh, is the sheriff above the, the leash laws at least? Uh, you know, that's one of the funny things that happened today. But talk to an IA lieutenant. We'll see if anything gets said about that. I, I mean, what do you do? He's the sheriff. You're going to send the chief of police over to arrest him? But there's not a whole lot more to report. I'll come back on if there's something that's, uh, that's newsworthy. There's a lot of hurt feelings and we're not trying to focus on the people right now. I just wanted to let you guys know what happened here today and that the verdict is in. And uh, I'm sure the Lawrence Journal World will have their take on it. And uh, yeah, the Times is here too. Um, by the way, the lady that wouldn't announce herself or, or introduce herself to me in court the other day, her name's Kim Callahan. She works for the Lawrence Journal World. I don't know why she's so shy. But uh, that's it, guys. Just a short one to update you. Have a good one.